Lucky for us, Meta already has some pretty nice SDKs ready. So uh, I just downloaded the Meta Avatar SDK. Uh, this is a sample scene here. Uh, wherever we are standing here. I'm not exactly sure, but it's nice. And there's me, and uh, this is the mirror scene from the avatar. As you can see, lip sync is already ready, already ready. And uh, I just had a look at the code, and this really looks not that complicated. There are some uh, tweaks we have to do, especially for recording and transferring this over the network. But I think this will be manageable. But right now, um, Apart from um, the networking scene, this is already the beginning for basic recording. And um, yeah, with a mirror, uh, one could actually do the recording from the headset without the need of a second camera. Well, we will have to see if this works out. This is the sample, the mirror scene from the avatar examples from the avatar SDK from Oculus. Uh, the reason I picked the mirror scene here is because it actually has lip sync input activated. And this is where I just investigated how this is implemented in this uh, avatar SDK example. And this is how we will um, implement our own lip syncing in a, in a moment. So I just wanted to um, record my findings here so you can actually uh, also have a deeper look into this. So if you install the Avatar 2 SDK from Oculus, you will have this Assets Oculus folder here. Uh, within this folder, we have examples. And um, the example we are interested in is the mirror scene here, which is open at the moment, because actually this one has lip sync active. And if we look at this mirror scene then, uh, we will find the two entities. This is a mirror scene, so we have our avatar and a mirrored avatar, which is basically the very same thing uh, with two less uh, scripts attached. And um, if, you, if you're looking at this, this avatar, which has uh, the sample avatar entity script, which, is, um, which, which derives from the uh, normal avatar entity script, we see these two uh, inputs. So this one is for the for the body tracking, for the movement, and this one is for the lip syncing. And here in the lip syncing, we have attached a lip sync uh, AV, uh, what's it called, uh, OVR lip sync uh, behavior, I think it is, um, which is part of our lip sync input script, which is again part of the lip sync input game object here. So in this one, we have. Um, three things attached, the audio source, the lip sync mic input, and the OVR avatar, uh, avatar lip sync context script, which derives from this. And what this thing does is it gets the audio from the microphone, plays it to the audio source, then the audio source is processed by the lip sync context, which in turn calls the lip syncing SDK and API to actually synchronize the input from the microphone uh, with the lips or the face of the avatar. So just have a quick look uh, how this is implemented. So uh, we're starting with a lip sync mic, mic input. So if we are looking at this one, um, most of the code actually deals with uh, these, these different modes here. Um, so we can push to talk, hold to speak, um, or constant speak or manual. Um, the important part is we have this audio source where we are playing to, and um, we, we, are, we are getting our, our microphone. So uh, in the start code, let's have a look here. In the start code, we are actually picking um, the, the, the microphone. No, that's not in the start code. It's actually even in the, in the, in the update code here. This is um, the initialized microphone if it's not already initialized which is quite simple. It just uh, goes over all the microphones, uh, microphone devices which are found, picks either the first one, or if we have a, if we want to have the, the one from Oculus or Rift, so from the Quest or Rift, then we are preferring this one and picking this instead of the first. And uh, this is basically all it does. And then the major thing happens here in the process mic activity. Process mic activity, uh, just here, this is all this, code with the, um, whether we are recording at the moment or not. So um, 
uh, in the end, uh, if we are currently recording or the thing should be recording, meaning the lips should um, move, then we're calling this start microphone internal method, which is the major part of this little script here, which um, starts capturing for 10 seconds from the selected device, from the selected microphone. Uh, this is recorded to the audio source clip. Um, not exactly sure why the loop is true, but uh, this is how the sample is working. Um, then we are waiting here, uh, a maximum of five seconds to start the recording. If the recording uh, started successfully, then we uh, replay it on the, the audio source. And uh, this is basically what happens in a loop. And um, yes, this is uh, how the microphone input ends up in this audio source, which again is here part of this lip sync input object. And this is also mapped to the OVR avatar lip sync context here, which is also a custom script. But this one derives from the OVR avatar lip sync behavior, which is part of the main avatar. Um, and uh, here also there's a, a, a lot of things happening, but the most important part important part is that uh, we are overriding here, uh, or we are being automatically called from the parent object with this on audio filter read. And um, this is um, actually, uh, called in a loop and we will um, then process the audio sample. So this is happening every time a new audio sample is available. And what this does is it actually feeds the incoming audio to a VC, Vicem context. Uh, and the Vicem context is the, the part where the actual audio is translated with the machine learning algorithms in the background to Vicem, so the audio to, to um, what is the actual mouth position, so from a phoneme or something, and um, this is where the animation then will be triggered. And this is how I how far I investigated. So we will do something similar. We will have also um, uh, the microphone input uh, fed into the, um, the OVR lip sync context, and this one attached to our already imported avatars. And hopefully then we should have a nice avatar in our studio with lip sync activated and see how this works. Thank you very much.